Hi guys, I'm back with you now and we are going to be attempting to reproduce this here. This is a truncated hexagonal prism. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, let me just turn on the light. I think this should be good enough light now. First thing I'm going to do is draw the, the three um, side views. <coughs> we'll draw the plan. The side view and the front view, the three views, and we are going to draw this in first angle projection. And then from there, I'm then going to use the information given to get the orthographic projection. <coughs> Pencils required for this assignment 2H and a 2B pencil. Set squares required. Set square is required. 30, 60 degree set square. Okay? Good. Let's start this now. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my page into half. So, check this line upward. Check the line downward. And on this same line, I'm going to use this to actually mark off my dimensions. <coughs> so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to join the plan first. And we know that each side of this hexagon, it's a regular hexagon, which means all sides are equal. <coughs> and all sides are the same size, which is 30 millimeters. So let's go. <coughs> So I put in my 30, just give yourself some space and mark off 30, 30 millimeters. I'm going to use the back of my set square, the 30 degree side, in the set where I've marked off the 30. And I'm going to come. Mark off 30. This can also be done with a compass too. <coughs> but for right now I'm going to use the set square method. And once you've gotten three sides, one, two, three, or even four sides, you can actually project the lines to line back up because all the sides are equal. So where these lines intersect, that's where we know that's the distance there. That's the 13 millimeters. So I can, can also draw down a line through the middle and divide the shape. Like that. This, this is just helping to construct the shape, giving different different tips as to how to construct the shape. Alright, so that's the shape there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon, regular hexagon at 30 millimeters. <coughs> so from here now, I'm going to project these lines upward so as to influence my second joint. Now I like to give myself some space, so I give myself some space at probably about one centimeter, one and a half centimeters. Yeah, yeah. And it says here the side are going to be it's a truncated hexagonal prism, so that means one side is going to be 30 and the other side is going to be taller. So they're using 30 and 60. So thick 30. You come back here on this reference line that I first drew, cut the page in half. And at the 30 degree point, I'm going to then use my 30. At the 30 millimeter point, I'm going to then intersect it with my set square. Excuse me, I'll just wipe my nose. <clears throat> I 
spray like that. So that's basically it for the side view. Now we're gonna have just the front view. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. This is where we need to use our 45 degree set square. This now, this is allow this allows me to project the lines that are from the plan up to generate the front view. So you just once again I gave myself some space between one elevation and where I think the next elevation is going to start of about one one and a half centimeters, which is there. And then at that point, I'm going to then create produce my 45 degree line. <clears throat> From that line, I sent all of my points on the plan towards that line. When I would intersect that line, then I would send them up. Not send them up at this stage, so I'm just sending them in a horizontal direction. Oops. I need to extend my 45 degree line some more in order for this to work. Good. No, I transfer them and I'm sending them up right now. And you send them up at 90 degrees. <coughs> So those four lines are going to correspond with lines that I'm going to project across from my side view. So my side view and my plan view are going to connect to form my front view. So one point. Another point. Third point. Let's look at this thing here. So we know that this is a point here. Point there. This is a point. And this is the bottom point here. Remember we gotta look at we gotta try and get this back to reflect the hexagonal shape which is on the plan which is slice. So this is what it's going to look like. Now at this stage you guys probably can't see it properly so I'm going to darken these lines and then I'll move on to the to the second stage which is to create the orthographic projection. So for this exercise now the darkening part I'm going to use my B pencil. Time to darken. <coughs> Going back over the plan. I always encourage my students to darken at the very end. Once you have your shape drawn and you are convinced that that is the shape, you go back and you darken.
Right, soon then. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what it looks like. So we got the plan, side view, front view. This is what I was explaining, the 45 degree line. All the lines from the plan, we project them in a horizontal manner, and wherever they crash against the 45 degree, then you extend them in a vertical manner. And this, these two joints help to influence the front elevation. So now, the next thing I'm going to do is create the orthographic projection here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 